Well, uh, hello all. Uh, this is a tutorial about a new add-on in Blender. Its name is uh, Bevel After Boolean, and uh, what it does it uh, is what it says in its title. It uh, bevels or it fillets the seams of the Boolean operations in the Boolean operations. And it's really a very uh, powerful tool because um, the things that it does uh, are difficult to achieve uh, with other ways, with other modeling, the already existing modeling ways in Blender or in any other app. Its author's uh, name is uh, Ilya Rodinkov. We are thankful to him for uh, producing, for making such a nice tool. It's a tool that it can be considered uh, um, a whole modeling tool by itself, indeed. So let's see uh, what uh, this tool does. Uh, the first thing that we have to do is to upload a mesh here, a cube. Good. We do get this cube in the center of the scene. Of the scene. We do scale it a little bit, and then we go here to make it to make it appear as a wire frame, as in in a wireframe. Then we go and apply to it a um, modifier, subdivision modifier. We do subdivide it some three, four times. Four times is better uh, because uh, you must keep in mind that uh, using this add on, uh, uh, the proper thing that uh, you have to, uh, you, you must do, the pro that uh, must be done is um, uh, having the objects uh, high polygon somehow, dense mesh diamond. Uh, because the add-on uh, works best with high polygon objects, not too much high polygon objects, but uh, the, uh, it must have a dense mesh indeed, as we see here. Uh, now here, let's give a, a ellipsoid shade to this uh, to this sphere for making it a little bit more interesting. Good. Uh, then uh, duplicate it. Uh, size it a little bit here, uh, making it more small, getting it uh, towards the center, and then make a boolean operation. Go to the bool tools of Blender here and make a union. Okay. Now, one thing that we have, uh, we, that we must have in mind, that we must keep in mind always, is whenever we do the, the boolean operation, after doing the boolean operation, we have to deselect everything in the scene and select the boolean objects only. So, we have to go to the tools, to the tools tab of Blender, and there, uh, down in, the, in this tab, uh, we will find this bevel command. Is the command of the add-on. We do click on it, and here we have a slice. The slice is because uh, before, uh, in my experimentations, I kept uh, uh, the Boolean mode in slice, and for this reason, uh, it remained a slice. But we can change it. We can go here to the Options tab of the Boolean bevel. Uh, add-on and find in the second uh, uh, part of this tab here, we can find these uh, options here. Uh, and here we say uh, it says slides. We can uh, alter it and do it union, for example. You will see that now it changed the union. Then we can do it uh, difference, for example. You will see that it will make a hole. Then we can do it uh, intersect. You will see that we have an intersect piece, but best is to uh, to remain in slice. It gives a very nice uh, shape of full cut here, as you see. Now, after doing all those things, we do go again here to the tool tab of uh, Blender. We do click Apply Modifiers, Remove Objects for cleaning the object, and then we do take this shape here. Uh, make it a little bit again, uh, giving it to a spherical shape and moving it here. So, scaling down, down, getting it here, a little bit outside of the object. So, yes, and let's see 
what uh, let's give uh, another shape to the object uh, go to the pull tools union you can in the pull tools you can use always the union because uh, you can alter um, afterwards the uh, operation of the kind of the operation from within the tab of the add-on for example here the, we have the union we deselect all we reselect all and then we do go um, we do go to the um, to stop here of blender we do click bevel well it will make a slice again as you see but we can change it here to a difference okay now we have a difference here as you see very nice well uh, we can go here apply modifiers remove objects uh, get it down here and make for example a union this time go to the bull tools union um, deselect reselect tools uh, bevel well now we will make it union nice now uh, here in the tab of uh, the options of the, the of the add-on uh, you can play with many things here for um, learning uh, the workings of this add-on but i will uh, show you only something some uh, very central things i mean for example um, how we do make this bevel this fillet thicker we go we, we do go here in the cut radius and we do put a higher value you will see that the bevel the fillet here uh, gets bigger and also you can alter the fillet segments here all the fillet segments are seven in number uh, in amount uh, uh, you can make it five or you can make it ten it depends on uh, what kind of a fillet uh, you want to do but i think that seven is a very good amount for keeping all the smoothness and giving a, a very nice result so uh, we do go back here apply modifiers remove objects then we do get rid of uh, this cutting object okay go here we do may we do put a greenish uh, material for seeing the difference and let's render it oh we did not put to the outer material uh, 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 to the outer object the big object uh, reflective material i will put it now uh, it will build uh, patience good as you see here uh, the cuts are very nice very uh, they are perfect really so we do go here to 3d view we do put here to a uh, reflective material and now uh, we do make our final render it's uh, as you see a very roughly put object of course it's for uh, um, purpose of demonstrating how this uh, tool works and i think it's enough to understand how it works how the tool works as you see everything goes perfect here too the beveling has been done very nice uh, those here colorings are because i used the um, point in this feature for uh, demonstrating uh, uh, the nicely smooth uh, nicely produced uh, fillettings as you see here also the fillets are very nice very pure very very uh, ordered i mean so this is uh, those are the main um, the central workings of this uh, plugin uh, you can play uh, for yourself and see what other things does it's really a very powerful uh, plugin uh, 
and uh, it's really um, it's uh, a great add-on uh, for a blender so thank you very much for watching and see you again in another uh, tutorial maybe uh, bye